Good afternoon, Sarah. It's a little bit late in the afternoon and the sun is low in the sky, but uh, we are in a large, nearly four hectare land plot that can have a house of how many square metres built? 254. That, so, that end, which we will we'll end up up there. As Paul says, we've got just under four hectares. It's really mixed flat land, woodland, and it goes down to a slope where the owner did have a project to build a big pond at the bottom uh, during the winter and then pump the water back up. He says the highest spot is over there. He's going to have a windmill and have a whole, you could very easily have an off grid property here if you wanted to. But water and electric and everything's just in the road up there. Yeah. So um, I'm stood by this very elegant stick here, which. It's, it's a lovely stick. It's a lovely stick. This is a modern day marker, <laughs> concrete. Usually they're just pieces of stone. You've got to know your stones around here. Yeah. So this isn't going to make any sense to you whatsoever. But from here, it goes straight that way and straight that way. Yeah, a metre a meter road, doesn't it? From that side, it meets the road yeah. and goes all the way around and down. And from this side, if you look back up there, you'll see it basically goes along a line of pines. And if you can see from there or not, there's the red container. And maybe if you do a, three, a 360, we can just show, because we are in the forest, I tried to get the variety of trees because we have huge pines, we have eucalyptus, we have oaks, Madronia. small pines. The eucalyptus, they are pretty much ready for cropping. You can either keep growing them, cropping them every eight to ten years, or um, you can remove them and just do without them and then and keep the pines or whatever. Yeah, I mean, he, I mean, they're absolutely enormous. He does, ha he does have the permission to dig them all out if you want with the roots, because that's what he was going to do, wasn't it? it? It is, yeah. Neither of us have ever heard of actually needing permission to do this before. But, but apparently you do. But apparently you do, yeah. So we decided that there's not much point delving into there, and we're going to spin around. And just so the boundaries there, and we're going to go into the forest or into a slightly more open clearing. We've got lots of chestnuts, even though the owners just told me there aren't any chestnuts, I've just found loads of them. <laughs> um, and we have apple trees, lots of, there's, there's normal coke, normal coke, and oh, I can't say it. Coral cokes and Thank normal you. oaks, yeah. It's getting very confused then. Um, another cork oak, another cork oak, yeah. chestnut, oak, pine. <laughs> uh, we've got some madronia trees, which are what you make um, attacks. I think I actually got attacked by that when I was walking around earlier. Exactly. Oh, exactly this one. Yeah, exactly. I think it actually Ooh. was, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's a chestnut. I've had to, I found some very nice mushrooms. We've got kind of like a country walk, yeah. Chestnut with raspberries. I've been here before. And this is a bit into the sun. I did walk down there. Uh, you yeah. can't really get the view. No, you can't, you can't see but it. There is, if you were to clear, which he has, the owner's owned this land for a long time. He, he, lives nearby um if you when you clear the uh, eucalyptus you have got long distance views yeah there. so just trying to sort of show you the boundaries because they are reasonably well defined and another cork oak so i mean this is lovely in the summer because we are now we've had miserable rain for a bit now we've got beautiful summer days and a whole week of them and it's not too bad next week either well, it's autumn, isn't it? Oh, obviously. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. Look, it's beautiful. Awesome. I've been in jumpers. Yeah, it's really? like 25 degrees. And it's this is Madronia. So this is the, what I think in English you call a strawberry fruit. Oh, strawberry fruit or something. Yeah, yeah. and um, you make uh, aguardenti out of it. This is a chestnut. Well, so see, this is lovely. And when it's really hot, this, this would be fabulous. And you've got a well. 
another cork oak. So a lot of these trees would stay and you just had a fabulous area if you wanted to put up tents or something like that. Yeah. There's a pot, I mean, shade is what you need in the summer. And this would just be gorgeous. And you can see here, we have a very nice stone wall that defines the boundary all along this side. Now I've lost my mushrooms. They're, oh, there they are, look, come and look at We're gonna to have to do a, like, pretend we're on a country show or something. <laughs> Foraging trip. Oh, look, here we go. Yeah, but look, really good mushrooms. Oh, golly. Look at this baby. Have any idea whether they're an edible mushroom or not? No, my friend was scratching a huge bag of them. I need to go scrumping with her because we can get to make mushroom soup. I'm a bit too scared. Okay. But then we've got, look, these little babies here. I think they're definitely not edible, but I could be wrong. Somebody will tell me all about what edible and what isn't. Yeah, I'm please sure. do comment. Comments. Yeah. I mean, we are getting lots of um, new listings on at the moment. And if we really want to stay up, up to date, just Google PP Property. Absolutely. And you'll find our website and our Facebook page. And everything goes on Facebook. We advertise everything on Facebook. Got some free information about mushrooms, maybe. Yeah. We and, might broaden yeah. out. Might even do that. Cork oaks. Well, yeah, could be a thing. We could use Google Lens Ow. for that. And silver. Can't remember what they're called in English. Rumbles. Thank you. So here we are going over to. Actually, you're going to do it oh, with most my raspberries. You're going to do a close up. Lots of people haven't actually seen a, a, a cork oak. We don't realise that it literally is cork. Yeah, the bark is made of that cork. That is cork. They yeah. just take that off. Yeah. It's your bottle top. And here we've got the well. Yeah, this is a spring well. Which still has, it's got electricity attached to it, um, which is going all the way back to the road. It's incredibly deep. It is really deep and you're not going to see much. Um, no, you won't see anything at all. But you can hear the plop. Hang on a minute. Oh. Not, not. No, no, no! Don't drop things in the well, sweetheart. Well, he did. We we're yeah, both but, deaf. Yeah, but he. <laughs> 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 yeah, but it's his well. He can do what he wants. Yeah, we've anyway. just, just been walking around the land together, Look. land together, back to back. Going, why are we talking to each other? Neither of us can hear each other. Um, so that was an interesting conversation. Right. No one has any idea what it was about. So here we have two really enormous. Scrubber dubbers. Oh, uh, the old wash tubs. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm glad you know what a scrubber dubber is. Yeah. Because they're huge. Well, I, I, I've got a degree in Sarah E's. Hmm. So, uh, you know, I kind of know what the terminology is all about. That's good. So, shall we walk over to, well, um, I think we should actually walk around the flat bits, which could be yeah, so this get to agriculture, couldn't they? I mean, you can see the views going that way as well. Yeah. So from where the house would be, yeah, those are the views that you'd get. Yeah. Because the boundary, the red container on the left. Yeah. When we first started, we you showed a line going up to that, and then the boundary is the wall. Go. Shall I go up to there? Well, no, I think see it. With I, the, with I, the want to, I want to just go that way right. in, into here. To so, show the vines, oh, nice flat land, uh, which you could plant just about anything on. You know, I'm just taking the yeah, Sarah's stuck in some brambles. Um, right, which is odd because the land's really quite clear, but I've got stuck on brambles and Sarah's got stuck on brambles. Just sorry, I can't hear anything there. you're saying. I know, but it doesn't matter. Okay, that's nice. The viewers do right. Miss the vines. So the vines are well established. Yeah. You've got another fruit tree behind. Well, you could you? really grow anything here, couldn't you? Yeah, you can easily have a farm. You know, it's very nice soil. Boundary, again, so that's a straight wall going down. Yeah. The pile in the middle is actually just where they've been pruning. Yeah. So that's waiting for the rains and the next bonfire. Um, well, you could burn that now, no problem. Obviously, we've got a variety of orange trees. Yeah, there are quite a few citrus trees. Yeah, the vines have spread everywhere. So this, this, if this had a little bit of TLC, these are really old and they always look completely dead. But obviously... Yeah, cut them back and they'll soon come back to life. 
they're not. Look. No. And so more, more mushrooms. Look. They just need some TLC. Yeah. Everything putting up again, and then you'd make a lovely arch trellis and have lots of grapes. Yeah, that's what that was, wasn't it? It was an arch, yeah. an arch trellis. It's yeah. It's been allowed to collapse slightly. Yeah. Um, obviously, we... you've also got quite a few olives. I haven't counted the olives. No, but there's a lot. There's far more than you'd ever need. As a family. So, yeah, the owner's just emptied his container. Oh. So there's a lot of rubbish in, <laughs> in the middle nice of the He's taking a nice shot of rubbish. Well done, dear. And, uh, well, it's either that or a container. Oh. Um, but I've got you, at least. The American Bureau of Shipping. I don't think we need to focus on that. No, we don't. Oh, we've got a nice, like, sort of British oak tree here. That's how I associate oak leaves looking. Yeah. Oh, look, it's an apple. What do you call it? Cork oak? No. Cork, uh, cork apple. Oh, I don't know. This is. You won't believe anything I say anyway. Fruit tree of some sort? Wall. So. This is the lane that drives round and the land meets it. And we yeah. might actually do a little drive round when we cut. And so we can show you the land from the other side. Okay. Because obviously just going through the middle of all that eucalyptus is a bit pointless. Yeah. Should we, should we walk around the container and along the road then? Okay. I think that's probably... Oh, uh, we're, we're just getting that container in, aren't we? Yeah. You know me, I, I, I used to be a container truck driver. Just gives me uh, probably should have built a house out of a little bit of nostalgia. Well, we did discuss building a container house, didn't we? So the boundary here is this line of pines on the left. Yeah. So here's the, uh, another road access. There is yeah. several accesses from roads to this property. Yeah, just to point out this is. So the busier road is back there. This is a yeah. little cut road behind it. Yeah, almost nothing comes down. Um, and so we're going from here, from the chestnut. See, proof yeah. of chestnut. That's a pine, sorry. Okay, the chestnut. Oh, a chest, yes. <laughs> okay, but the tree is a pine tree. <laughs> we stood under a chestnut. Yeah, okay. Right, so boundary. Yeah, all along this stone wall is the boundary line, isn't it? Yeah. And at the stop sign, do we stop there? We we could, yeah. I don't know why the stop sign's there exactly. I don't. No, really I mean that's what I was understand wondering. Understand that. Maybe just taking the views over the land. Yeah. I mean, there are sort of long range views, yeah, yeah. mountains and lots of lovely stuff. And as it happens, this property here, which you can't see the house, so it's fine, was also a very nice property that we sold probably about a year or so ago. And they've got loads of um, walnuts, so you can probably go scrumping. Not that I said that. No. I'm sure they wouldn't mind, though. No, well, so, here's the start of what gives it the urban footprint, isn't it's it? Up here. Yeah, why would you? Why? Because the road's down there. So yeah, like that is a bit of an odd one. Yeah. So here's the start of the footprint on the orange tree. Uh, and you can see, obviously, it's got good height. Oh, it's oh, very, very tall. So let's stare the road and see how many lorries come past just because it's us. Well, it always happens. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm going to try and get the other view down the side there, but the sun, as I thought it might. It's huge, it's really yeah. good, and of course this is stone. When we go into the courtyard, it's a whole mixture. Yeah. Um, try not to get run over. Yeah, okay. I'm assuming they'll go around you and me. Right. So this in itself is obviously really quite long. 
Yeah. Surprisingly, I'm not marking it out for some reason. Then in there, this is our whole urban footprint. So the area that you've got that's urban, the land size is 520. And then within that area, you're allowed to build 254 yeah. square meters. Okay. Um, Should we go to the end? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's got a bit of a funny end. It has I got mean, a bit of a funny end. You'd expect it to be a point, but it clearly never was a point because that's the old stone wall. Yeah. Oh, God. Oh, there's quite a diagonal along there. Yeah. So, back through the gate. Back through the gate. I have turned these microphones on, haven't I? I, I really hope so. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, like, I mean, there's the the entrance way as best as I can show it. Um, if you happen the... to have the initials of T and M, then obviously this is for you. Yeah, yeah, Tom and Mary, wherever you are, this is your house. Right. So I mean, yeah, I mean, there's a bit of a mixture of like sort of ramshackle stuff, but there's a there's a lot of stone as well, isn't there? It's a lot of stone. There's a very old olive machine. It's the right mix. You could, you could get befuddled with, and a tree in the middle of it, which is always a nice feature. Yeah. Um, or not. So once you shut that gate, it's really quite private here. All of these are outbuildings. You know, that's a, that's a modern day bread oven because that's been built out of brick block. Brick block. <laughs> Here again, we've got a stone base, been heightened by blocks. In there is all stone. I mean, it's quite nice to consider this being a courtyard area. Yeah, it could be. I mean, obviously, that stone wall uh, by the road sort of lends itself yeah. to doing that, doesn't it? And then you go out. Yeah. So, do you, do you not want to go? We can, we can, we can. We can. I think, yeah, I think we should have a look in here. Yeah, it's a quick one. As ever, we're. Oh, I can't really. And the light. Oh, there's a light in there. There's a little bit of light, isn't there? Oh yeah, and, well, and there's a hole in the roof, so you know that helps. <laughs> oh, hole in the roof, bound to help. Along with the live electricity, which is marvellous. So the electric's still on. Yeah. Oh well, that's feeding the pump for the well. Yeah, we've got the power. Yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> So what we have is lots of stone. I mean, the stone's actually really lovely. It is. Something could be made of that for sure. But uh, I mean, you'd build a new house here, in my opinion. But we don't all care for your opinion, my dear. Yeah, no, well, yeah. Well then. I know. I'm in the minority. There's only two of us. And I'm still in the minority. What two of me? Well, there were two, there were three of us. Yeah, I forgot. Um, so here we are back at the handbag. Yeah, which is uh, always a place a girl wants to end up by. <laughs> All right, come on, where should we go? We can't go chopsing through the forest. I mean, it's just a bit silly, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, but we've shown how big it is. I will put like a boundary map on there uh, to show you whereabouts it is yeah we've got the, we're in the area that's got the cadastro so it's the government planning so we can actually put the cadastro on yeah and shows you the shape of the land because yeah. it's quite impossible to really see yeah we can do it on google maps as well and paul can draw a boundary but it's quite impossible to imagine four hectares yeah um i mean location wise i mean it's really quite close to town isn't it it is and in this village i've We've got, there's a market, a small market every Sunday, I think. There's a couple of cafes, and then you've just got 10 minutes and you're into less than that, and you're at a petrol station and a cafe and restaurant, and then you go into Ferrara itself. Yeah. So, orange trees. I mean, how far are we from Ferrara? Oh, gosh, 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tops, isn't it? Yeah, 10 minutes, yeah. tops. We well, have the best pizzeria. 
So, of course, very, they, they have got the best picture here, uh, around these here parts. We're also quite close to Tamar, of course. And we're also, it's not far from the highway, really. Okay, and so, here, of course, we've got the river. Yeah, you've got all the all of the lakes um, within shouting distance. Dornge yeah, is really quite is close, a, isn't it? Yeah, you don't have to go to Ferreira, Lagoazul to get to the river. No. From this side, there will be lots and lots of places where you can sneak down and get to the river. Yeah, lovely spots. So, okay, well, I think that's probably us summed up because what we've got is, so we've got four hectares, nearly, three Eight, 38, something. Something, yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, the possibility to build 250 square metres of property in this area here, though, yeah. you have to be here. This flat land, great for just being a garden or being a horticulture or whatever you want to do. Then you go into the pines, you can clear them, you can keep them. Um, you've right. got beautiful views from there and you've got your own water, you've got electric, you've got mains water as well as the well. Yeah. I mean, you can crop, the, can continue cropping the eucalyptus for an income. Yes, yeah, money. Of course you can. It is, you know, personally I'd rip those roots out and uh, put some much nicer trees in. Um, the, the rest of the land can be turned to agriculture. You can live self-sufficiently here. Easily. Yeah, really easily. With solar, wind, it's got water. There's everything you need here to be self-sufficient, isn't there? At the same time, you don't need to be because it's all in the road if you want. Yeah, absolutely. Or you can build a family home okay. and just you know just live in it. And, um, we can't guarantee it, but I, I wouldn't have thought that it would be difficult to like set up uh, a glamping thing here with some yurts and what have you, is it? I think, you know, that, that's where the, the mixed forest really lends itself because of the yeah, shade. Be beautiful place And to as have. you go down, okay, I mean, big old eucalyptus, they're absolutely beautiful. So you might just clear... Well, no, the big, yeah, the big eucalyptus you keep, the, the, um, but the, um, all the saplings and what have you, yeah, just rip them out. Get yeah. the money or, get, you know, do whatever. So there's, there's a variety of options here. If you're looking for a, what is a building plot, I mean, possibly... Some of this you can restore and keep the exterior walls. Yeah. Um, and then you'd obviously get architects in and work your way up and see what you want to do. Yeah. But um, it's the mixture of the land and the trees and the fruit trees. It's just, it's a really, really nice plot of land. Yeah. In a good location. In a great location. So please do like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed the sunshine. And um, it'll be sunny tomorrow when we do another one. Okay. Bye. Okay.